Hey, welcome my friends. And today we're going to be uh, taking a look at Unreal 5.5 and uh, specifically the new lighting setup they've got going on. I think it's called Mega Lights <laughs> or something like that. Uh, anyways, it is pretty mind blowing and I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Hey, Victor. Hey, everyone. Hey. Let's jump right into it. OK. When we look at where to take Unreal Engine in the future, we start with the user, asking ourselves how the tools and the tech get out of their way as they bring their ideas to life. One challenging limitation for our creators has been the cost of shadow casting lights. Mm. To that end, we've developed new technology that enables artists to use orders of magnitude more and higher quality light sources than ever before. Let's take an early look at this cool. new feature we're calling Mega Lights. And who better to guide us through this experience than our intrepid explorer from Lumen in the Land of Nanite, Echo. Yeah, the Nanites really changed the game. Let's see what's up ahead, Victor. See, that looks so beautiful. Uh, so when I started uh, doing game design, uh, I started on Unreal 4, and there are still, I mean, you didn't have to quite bake in lighting <laughs> at that point, uh, at least uh, most of the time. But yeah, I mean, it was it was difficult. It was a difficult balance, uh, the amount of lights you could use, because it was taxing. And it still never looked even this good, <laughs> like not even close. This is just amazing. And this isn't even like it, I don't think. I think this is still not showing off the system yet. Something new to discover. Before we get into the details of Mega Lights, I first wanted to talk about this environment. Built using a suite of brand new assets from the Quixel Megascans library, we've also partnered with Kitbash 3D. Mm. They're an awesome resource for 3D models and materials. You can soon find many of these assets on our new Fab Asset Marketplace. If you want to, that is such a fabulous place for 3D resources. Man, I wish they had that when I was back in school. My levels would have looked so much cooler. <laughs> Use them in your own projects. Ah. Uh. Moving on, let's talk Mega Lights. Unreal Engine is at its best when users can express themselves without technical constraint. Like Nanite did for triangles or Lumen for a global illumination, Mega Lights removes limitation in a whole new category, direct lighting and shadows. Wow. Take, for example, these textured area lights, considered the gold standard of offline rendering. Here they are in real time, Spilling wow. vibrant color into the scene, casting soft shadows, and illuminating the environment in a way artists simply couldn't have done before. Yeah, that would have some of that stuff you'd had to have baked into the into the lighting, it, and it's, it definitely wasn't dynamic. That's for sure. Wow, that is so crazy. That's so beautiful. Honestly, I don't know why just every single game studio doesn't use Unreal, because it is just, I don't know. It just seems so far superior than anything that's out there, any custom engines. And a whole new tool in the Creator's Toolkit is huge, but that's not the only way Megalites makes things better. Let's see what's next. Wow. Oh, hey there, little guy. Who are you? So it looks like Echo has found herself in quite an interesting marketplace here. It's just about to open for the day. Let's turn on some of these shop fronts and see what's for sale. Wow. There's something missing though. The scene, it's flat, it's undefined. <laughs> it still looks Let's turn beautiful. On shadows, but not just for a few important lights, for every single light in the entire view. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Wow. 
That is amazing. From these main shop fronts to the screens, the displays, the flickering oil lamps, string lights, oh candles, gosh. signs. We're free to use whatever lights we need to tell our story wow. and bring this beautiful environment to life. Now, the density of light sources you see here, it's extremely high. And this is what you get when artists are working playfully without limitations. That just limitations. blows my mind. Okay, let's go back to the scene. Victor, let's go further. Let's activate all these animated drones and robots. Over 1,000 individual shadow casting light sources in this view alone. Wow, like little fireflies. All of these lights, they're movable, dynamic, scattering through the volumetric fog, and Megalites handles this impressive scene without missing a beat. Wow. That literally blows my mind. As we continue on, it's... And this isn't just for, like, gaming either. I mean, obviously, this is, like, if you want to do, like, uh, 3D movies or whatever inside of Unreal. I mean, this is just amazing. It's worth mentioning that removing these limitations around light count and shadows, it doesn't just apply to point and spotlights, but to area lights as well. Megalites enables artists to use area lights as freely as they would any other light source. Wow. Now, whether you're using textured area lights, light functions, crisp shadows, or lovely soft shadows, you can have huge numbers of lights of any type in whatever configuration works best <laughs> for your scene. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Now, as we send Echo off on her next adventure, we should mention performance. What you've seen here is running live on a PlayStation 5. Megalites is included in UE55. What? It's an experimental feature in 5.5, and you can also check it out on the expo floor if you want a closer look at all the pretty pixels. Thank you very much. Back to you, Simon. Well, thank you, Simon. <laughs> but we're not going to hear from you. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, if you uh, enjoyed my reaction, please uh, like and subscribe. And um, thanks for watching. And until the next video, stay safe. Have a great day. And we'll see you later. All right. Bye.